My name's Katie Beth and I'm the owner of Inner Art. I guess I started um, when I was an art teacher and I was working in schools. It was very, very busy, lots of children, too many children in one classroom. So I wanted to provide something that was a better art experience. And I set up a different studio, not this one, at, um, the other side of Rygate and it was very small. We called it the Hutch. It was a wooden building, had lots and lots of uh, wood lice in the corners, but it was still still my first studio. And we went from two, three tutors and a handful of students. And now we have a team of part time, uh, nine tutors and uh, hundreds, hundreds of children and adults come through the doors. We just come out of Covid. We'd reopened a new studio and I was Really, I mean, I was so proud of everybody that had pulled together. So I wanted something that would recognise that. I didn't know that we'd win, um, so I put forward the application, didn't really tell many people, kept my fingers crossed. And so when we found out we were in the category, that was great news. It was only on the evening of that we found that we'd won. And that was just the craziest excitement ever. The team from Inner Art went to the evening um, and my dad came as well and that was really special for me. Nerves, nerves, nerves until it got to our category and then they gave a sort of little description um, about the business that had won and I thought that, that could be us. I think that sounds like us. And then they said Inner Art and it was just like, it was just like, yeah, like the best moment ever. Winning the Social Impact Award was, it was such a privilege because it's, it was the category that I felt meant the most to me personally as well as for the work that we do because we work with um, all different kinds of people from children to adults, um, special needs categories um, through to children that aren't in school, um, people who live on their own and need some kind of place to go and uh, so I think it, the, the kind of feel that we like to have is more like a family so when it did relate to the social side of it and what we provide as a co for the community that I, I just felt like yeah really pleased and very very proud of the team here. Over the years we've had a lot of council support and it's been really beneficial from um, we had a grant and I was part of the Entrepreneur Academy and then at the same time that the uh, Social Impact Award came up and so those three things all from the council it was just so encouraging and it really felt like rather than we were a business on our own trying to exist we were part of a bigger network and people were all in the same boat and all aiming for something that was beneficial for Rygate um, the, the town and Red Hill and the associated areas. I would say the council played a significant role in the way that we were able to grow from a very small, um, just about surviving business into something that I feel much more confident in. You've just got to go for it. It doesn't take too long to apply. Get your application in. Um, keep your fingers crossed. Best thing of all is if you have team members and they're part of this, it's really a great bonding experience for your workplace as well.